Greetings, teachers. I want to thank you for spending your valuable time trying to find new ways to bring rich and engaging civics education to your students. When I stepped down and retired from the Supreme Court, I thought that one of the most important things I could do with my newfound free time, if there was to be some, was to help the next generation become knowledgeable in civics and civic principles and as leaders. And as you well know, the knowledge of our system of government is not handed down through the gene pool. It has to be learned by every gener generation of citizens. And our nation's schools were established initially for the purpose of educating our young people to be good citizens. And by bringing civic education to the classroom, you're carrying out that very important mission. And to help support you in that effort, I have teamed up with some experts in technology and in education, and together we've created iCivics.org, a website where you will find free lesson plans, interactive activities, social networking tools, and online games to excite and engage your students. You may be surprised that I'm promoting civics teaching and learning using online media. I'm not an expert in it, but these are the new tools of civic engagement for the digital generation, the young people. And even a retired cowgirl like me knows that we need to use these tools to educate if we're going to inspire and interest today's young people to become active and knowledgeable civic leaders. So I hope you'll try out the materials on the iCivics.org website. Tell us what you think and what more we can do to support you. As you know, democracy is not a spectator sport. We have to participate, each of us, to ensure that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. I know you will not let that happen on your watch. Thank you.